Hi everybody, this is Gabriel again. Today I want to show you some of my fails, my phalaenopsis that are um, <clears throat> doing well. This one I showed you on a different video. This one's growing in a moss and um, I'm trying to decide if I, if I should repot it on bark or maybe using moss again because it's growing in moss and I don't want to mess up with the uh, the way the roots are growing because in my experience when I change from moss to bark the older roots die so if I do that probably all the roots are going to die it's going to grow new ones but um, adapted to the new media and but that would take long long time for the plant to to start getting better and, and do the whole cycle again so maybe I'm going to use moss again but what I want to show you today is that well first of all it's doing really well this this uh, leaf is kind of new and um, it has two key keys or K keys that I'm showing you here and um, the last time I showed you this plant it had only one flower I thought it was going to grow flowers but it, instead it's growing two kikis and the strange thing is that it started growing the roots first got the first uh, root which is this one and then this little one over here the uh, kiki itself has only one leaf as you can see here and the other kiki also has only one leaf but it's actually growing a new one here and this one I don't know I don't see any new growth but they are doing really well and um, this other one is also growing a new root well, actually, this one doesn't have roots. It's just starting to grow new roots, or the first roots. Anyway, that's one. Uh, this Phalaenopsis, it's, um, it has no ID. It's purplish with freckles. And it's one of those um, things that you see on the store, and, and they are like $9, and you just cannot pass that offer and he, he, you get it so I didn't have anything blooming that's why I bought it and this other one this is my Phalaenopsis uh, DTPS which is Doritanopsis so like I said before it's a um, hybrid between um, um, Doritis and Phalaenopsis, that's why it's called Doritanopsis or I don't know if that's how you pronounce it anyway so this one is the one that had a kiki a big big kiki and this is the kiki that I repotted on October 30th and um, well this is the mother plant and I thought it was going to have like a big shock when I repotted it after I cut the um, the kiki, but it's growing really nice, uh, lots and lots of new roots, and they all most of them aerial roots because they're growing outside the media, but it also has <clears throat> new roots inside the pot. I just water it. So you cannot really see inside because all these uh, moisture on the walls of the pot. But what I want to show you is it's growing a blooming spike. Let's see if I can focus. Well, maybe it's not going to focus there, but. I don't have a video camera, so what I use is, is my my iPhone. Sometimes I get good images, sometimes I 
I don't. Anyway, so that's a uh, blooming spike, but it's w what is more surprising, at least for me, is that the kiki is also growing a blooming spike. Let me see if I can show it to you, because I'm working in a very small space here. Let's see. It's very tiny. It's actually almost the same size as the uh, mother's keiki. Can focus there. Uh, I don't know if you can see it. It's right under the leaf. It's right there. Let me try a different angle. Well, that's the best I can do. Anyway, so it's a keiki that was repotted just, what, 15 days ago and it's already starting a spike. For me that's, well first of all it's awesome and it's surprising and I love it. It's uh, my uh, Doritinopsis Tida Salu and uh, I I think it's a very, very strong uh, hybrid of uh, Thalinopsis. So, I don't know if it's common, but I see a lot of them on my store, On I mean the store where I, where I used to buy them. Sometimes I do, cause, but not so much anymore, because now I'm getting my plants from the Orchid Society. And here, I'm going to show you something else. It's also a Phalaenopsis. This is a white kind of Phalaenopsis. Um, don't know the uh, hybrid's name, but it's growing without media. Actually, I was uh, going to repot it, but um, I found that it had no roots in the media. All the roots in the media were dead but everything else was aerial all you see here most of them are the aerial roots and it's growing just like this inside the empty pot and i'm struggling here i don't know what to do so if any of you um fellow orchid lovers and growers um What's your opinion about this? Should I repot it or just let it grow like this? Because I've seen orchids growing like this, like like the Vandas, but I don't know about the um, Phalaenopsis. I know they, they grow attached to the trees, but um, I don't know. I just don't want to risk. I don't know, it's... I'm really torn here because I, I love this orchid, it has really beautiful white flowers and not as big as the other Phalaenopsis I have but the flower itself it's pretty, really pretty and um, and it has tons of roots but if I, re if I put it in a pot with media I don't know if the roots are going to die and, and that's going to... I don't know, it would take a long long time to bloom again if I do that. So any opinion you guys have please post a comment and let me know what you think about it and well that's what I have for today with my Phalaenopsis growing kikis and the uh, two Phalaenopsis in Spike. Um, thanks for watching. Bye bye.